We're going to explain how to fix the no CD slash DVD ROM drive found error in NBA 2K14. This annoying problem prevents you from playing the game, even if you have the disc in your drive. The issue usually stems from problems with your computer's disk drive, the game files, or even outdated drivers. Let's tackle potential solutions one by one. 1. Check your disk drive. First, ensure your game disk is clean and properly inserted into the drive. Try restarting your computer. Sometimes a simple reboot fixes temporary glitches. If the drive isn't recognized by Windows, go to Device Manager, search for it in the Windows search bar, Expand DVD slash CD ROM drives and look for any errors or yellow exclamation marks. If you see them, right click on the drive and select Update Driver. Windows will attempt to find and install the latest version automatically. If that fails, try searching your computer manufacturer's website for updated drivers for your specific model. If your drive appears fine in Device Manager but still isn't recognized by the game, move to the next steps. 2. Verify game files. NBA 2K14, like most games, requires specific files to work correctly. If these are corrupted or missing, the game won't launch. If you downloaded the game from a digital platform like Steam, use its built-in verification tool. It usually has an option like verify integrity of game files or something similar to check and fix damaged files. If you have the physical disk, reinstalling the game might help. 3. Run the game as administrator. Sometimes the game may lack necessary permissions to access your system's resources. Right-click the game's executable file, usually AXE file. Select Properties, go to the Compatibility tab, and check the box that says, Run this program as an administrator. Try running the game again. 4. Update your graphics drivers. Outdated graphics drivers can cause unexpected errors. Go to the website of your graphics card manufacturer, NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel and download the latest drivers for your specific card model. Make sure to install them correctly and restart your computer afterwards. 5. Check your system requirements. Make sure your PC meets the minimum system requirements for NBA 2K14. If your system falls short, upgrading your hardware might be necessary. 6. Reinstall the game. As a last resort, try uninstalling NBA 2K14 completely and reinstalling it. Ensure you delete any leftover files from the previous installation. This often solves problems related to corrupted installation files. If none of these steps work, the problem may be more complex, requiring additional troubleshooting or professional help. Remember to restart your computer after each step to see if the issue